This video is all about how to set up your art space. Now, I know a lot of people think that you have to have buku buku or a lot of art, a lot of space to uh, paint, but really and truly, you only need a little bit of space. And this is coming from somebody who's had a great big, you know, studio amount of space and a little bitty bitty space. I mean, like just a corner in my bedroom. So you don't need a lot. You just need to have it organized where you can kind of reach everything and you can just flow. But um, I'm going to show you the, the setup that I have right now, and I'm actually using the other side of my living room. So I have another space dedicated ex specifically for my art, but this room has like this great big huge window in front of me that, lots in a, that lets in a lot of natural light. And I really wanted to just paint in this space. So I had to figure out how to make it work, right? Um, but I'm going to tell you five quick things or six quick things rather that you need to make sure that you have a nice comfy little art space and then i'm going to show you a video of how i have my setup all right so the first thing is of course a little table um and a tabletop easel so you can use the one that i have like right there it's kind of big or you can use a smaller one it's just like a regular tabletop easel i used to use for my paint and sip parties a palette of course you can use a paper plate uh a glass palette, a stay wet palette, a plastic palette. I've used them all. Um, they, you know, work different ways. I'll do a video on that one day. Um, rag or paper towel for sure. Your water cup. And of course, something to hold your paints in. Okay, so that's simple. Not a whole bunch of stuff. A little space and you can get to painting. So let me show y'all how, how I have my stuff set up right now. All right. Okay, let's see it. <laughs> All right, so like I said, this is just um, one, the other half, the other side of my living room area. And so what I did is I just set up my big easel right next to my tabletop easel. So I'm gonna start over here with my tabletop easel. This is, I mean, you see the table top easel. <laughs> and then I have, I put my paint palette right in front of me, my napkin, my water with my brushes. It's dirty. I just finished painting. Um, and then I have like um, my small brushes, pens and pencils and markers. And then my big brushes right here. And I have a little flower because I like to keep like inspiring, inspiring stuff around me. I have a candle burning, my rose quartz. And then some of my mediums. And then in these little boxes, it's just like stuff that I might use to put into my painting. And then um, right next to it. So sometimes I videotape and I just have this already set up. But also I'll have an um, a easel. I'm sorry, a tripod on this left side too. So that I can record. Because it's better to, for me to record from the left side than from the right. Because my hand is in the way when I record from the right. So then like right next to where I'm painting... I have my drawers filled with my paint. And so right in the middle is where I keep all of my paints. I wish I had a better, oh, that goalie fell on the floor. A better way to organize it. But um, I was thinking to get a pegboard and I'll do a video about that one day. And then in this top drawer, I keep like my mediums. Um, this is modeling paste. I think this is modeling paste too, like resin sand. I have gold leaf. I have charcoal. I have gloss medium. And then like all of this goes in here too. It goes in here too. My heavy gel medium. I'll put that up since I'm. And then down here in the bottom is the same thing. Just like more random stuff that I could use in my art paint. I mean, glass mediums, tape, all kinds of stuff. So that's the tabletop easel setup. All right. Then if I'm painting over here, I just turn this like this and then I can record that way and then I have my paint palette, my plate and my water and then all of that just goes on this tray. So I'm in the middle painting. I can easily grab my paints. I can easily get to my palette right here, my water, my cup of water, everything is there. Now, since this is the living room space, I am conscious about the floor. So I have like an old sheet. So I have an old sheet down there because I am very conscious about not spilling things on the floor. Specifically, since I do not own this space that I live in, I don't want to be disrespectful and mess up these beautiful 
hardwood floors and um yeah so that's it i mean real simple basic if i'm painting big i paint here this is my easel <laughs> i've been having for like uh i want to say 15 years it's on its last leg y'all but i cannot throw it away my auntie who passed bought it for me so i cannot throw my poor baby away but anyway this is it this is all the space i use right now this is all the space you need when you want to paint all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope that was helpful helpful to you to get you going, to go ahead and say, you know what? I can go ahead and set me up a little corner in my house. I can create a little space, something, you know, maybe if you have to create something, a little duck off, go ahead and do that, you know, get going. I promise you, once you get it set up and you have something white sitting right there on your easel, you're going to walk in there and be inspired to paint and to just create all right, so definitely click subscribe, like, share, spread the love, spread the knowledge. And I will see you all on the next video. Meet me there. You know what? Don't meet me there. Beat me there. Click the next video and let's keep this party rolling. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Creatively yours, Maisha.